Mad Guys Code Escape to Africa. Probably the boringest game I've ever played. Like, the The audio cut out here, Lamal. I don't want to play this game. It's so boring. So, one of the first mini games is jumping through hoops. Why in a video game would you want to jump through hoops? What is this? Superman 64? Like, who, what game developer decides jumping through hoops is the best mini game you could put in? Like, the only every time jumping through hoops is acceptable is like a party game. Like, if it's just a tiny mini game and you try to jump as many, uh, jump more into more hoops than your opponents, that could make it interesting. But mm -hmm. in a single player game where you're just playing um, by yourself, why would you incorporate jumping through hoops? It's boring, it's easy, I don't want to do it. Another part in this game is that it follows the story way too well. You might as well just watch the movie because it's the amount it follows the story is way too much. Like, yeah, sure, they put some mini games in that probably didn't actually happen in the movie, but the amount it follows the story is too much. Like, I don't want to play the game where it just follows the movie. You can just watch the movie. So, I don't want to play it whenever you could just watch the movie. Another part is... The gameplay is so boring. You you either swing a Wii remote or hold down on a button. Like, for example, there's this one part where um, you're kicking a soccer ball and into, like, these three sections. There's a top, middle, and bottom section. And all you do is hold down a button and wait for it to charge up and then let go of it so it just aims in the certain section you want it to like that's not fun that's just holding down a button and keeping it like that like i i don't like this game at all it's so boring i and it bored me so much only after two hours i decided to quit that is so bad if you know me I love to play video games a lot, so stopping at two hours is just ridiculous for me. I want to beat that game, but I don't want to beat this game, because it just bores me to death how bad it is, how boring it is. It, you don't want to buy this game. If you find it at GameStop for like two bucks, don't get it. It's not going to be fun. And there's this one part, the dodgeball part. Y you're just jumping around trying to dodge like these carrots or acorns. I don't even know what y you're throwing because it's hard to tell what things are in this game. So you're just throwing this stuff at other lions and it's just boring. You just throw stuff at the lines or you dodge the things like there's two different mini games the throwing ones and the dodging ones the dodging one is just jumping around in a circle trying not to get hit and the throwing one is just pressing the z button like it's not fun it's it's not fun you don't want to play this game you do not want to play this game because I'd rather, I'd rather eat burnt toast than play this game. I'd rather, I'd rather fall down the stairs than play this game. I'd rather break my leg than play this game. Because this game is boring. I do not want to beat this game ever. I can't even finish it if I wanted to. Because the Wii I was playing on it broke. So, even if I did want to beat it, I 
can't. I can't resume from where I left off. So I have to restart the game and then try to beat it. But I don't want to do that because that's boring. And I don't want to repeat the things I already finished because I don't want to get bored even more. So I'm not, I'm not going to play this game again because it's boring. I'm not going to play it again. I will not. And, like, I don't understand how they can make it this bad, like, this boring. Like, at least make it a little bit fun. Like, there's a little bit of minigames that can be kind of fun. But, like, if you want to play a minigame collection, just buy a party game. Play with your friends. That, that's like, that's all you have to do. To have fun with mini games, but this is just single player mini games where you're just running around doing the task, waiting for something awesome to happen, but it's not gonna happen because this game's boring. So don't buy this game, don't play this game. That's that's all I have to say. Don't buy this game, don't play this game. See you guys for the next review when I review Wipeout for the week.